work hard, play hard, work hard, play hard, work hard, play hard, work hard, play hard, work, 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 work. Here we are, everybody. Top five. This is a serious, exciting discussion that we're gonna have today. Top five rappers of all time. The movie, of course, top five. Hi, Chris, you wanna join us? Yeah, I'm gonna join. Wow. I knew you let that thing start. Right there. Stop it. Google it. Okay. Jason, you start. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna go with Jay Z. By any metric, I think he's probably superior to anybody. Uh, I'll go with uh, Rakim. Uh, I think they're Ra Rakim is the. Ra Why is that funny to you? This whole thing is That's so great. great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, number two, uh, Rakim, uh, rap Jesus Christ. I think there's uh, hip hop before the God MC and hip hop after him in terms of MCs and delivery and flow. I think he's number two. Uh, number three, I'll say Biggie. I think uh, Biggie, I think uh, the most uh, tooled MC ever. Uh, although he had a short career, I think he tooled. applied those tools. Uh, storytelling, battle flow, Bo spitting Jackson clubs. Yeah. Bo yeah. Jackson yeah. a rap. I'm going to take Jackson. that. When we edit that out, when we edit this, I said that. Very short. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's got Walter Payton, he's not Tony Dossett, <laughs> exactly. but he's very excited. Right. Um, and so I'm not super uh, East Coast, I'll say number four, Ice Cube. I think we give a lot of credit wow. for Dr. Dre for being the architect of an entire sound. I think Ice Cube was the voice of that uh, entire coast. And he still is prevalent and kind of the influence from then. And then number five, I'll say Nas. I think Nas is the most poetic MC. I think he's probably the most gifted MC that's ever wow. lived. Wow. Interesting. Oh. You pick Cube over Pac when Time. you go West Coast guy. Time. Mm. Mm. Well, there's wow. still six, man. Yeah. To be debated. Yeah. To be debated. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. I'm going to go to Chris. Really? Yeah, yeah right already. now. Come on, Chris. Oh, boy. I'm going to go with um, Jay Z yeah. is. The best rapper to ever live. Jay Z, he's the Pete Rose of rap. He's got the most hits. Mm. 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 That's better than Mo Jackson. <laughs> yeah, he's got, he has the most hits. Mm. He's the hit king. Yeah. Mm. Uh, but if we go by hits. You, but you don't, don't diss hits. Right. I don't diss hits. I'm into hits. No, it's your personal every top now, five. Every now and then there's a horrible hit. Yes, yeah, every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> every now and then. <laughs> but most hits are good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And nobody with a horrible hit usually gets another hit. Right. You know? Right, right, right. 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 Yeah. right. So I will go with Jay Z is the best rapper ever lived. Number two, I'm going to go with Kanye West. Ooh. Ooh. Kanye West Ooh. is the most exciting artist in the history of hip hop. He's the most interesting artist we have ever had. Yeah. He's the, he is perhaps maybe Rock Him the Exception, the only artist we've ever had with mystique. That we actually give a <laughs> fuck what he does besides rap. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and, and and Kanye's made the best album in the history of rap. He's going to be, be very and, happy to and, hear this. And, you know, My Beautiful Jesus? Dark Fantasy is the oh, best. Which came out today. It's, it's, uh, four hey, years ago. My Beautiful Dark Fantasy is better than Thriller. Okay? Ooh. Oh, because you're wow. on it. Because he's on it. Because he's on it. I've been doing it too. Wow. I've been doing it. I'm on it. The building just shut up. Yo, Chris, I'm saying it's not going to tell you. There's no Baby Be Mine on Beautiful Dark Fantasy. Baby Be Mine is a great song. Nah, it's horrible. Girl is Mine is whack too. Girl is Mine is whack. I know Wes. Kanye West is amazing. Number three. I go with Scarface. Scarface, most influential. There is no Jay Z without Scarface. Jay Z and Biggie are two Brooklyn cats that were just listening to the Scarface album and put a little more shine on it. Okay? Okay? Scarface. He's, look, he's looking around like, who's arguing? Yeah. Who's got the Really, video really, video yes, yes. Oh, so, oh, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm paranoid. <laughs> I'm confused. All, all of that's created by Scarface. Right. Killing, kill, I'm going to kill myself at the end of my first album. Yeah. Yeah. Biggie stole that from Scarface. Okay? Okay. 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 Scarface. So I'm at Jay Z, Kanye, Scarface. Yes, I'm going to go with Ice Cube. Uh, no. Okay. okay. Ice Cube yeah. is, you know. Because Ice Cube is not just Ice Cube. Ice Cube wrote the Easy e album, too. Yes, yes, he so, did. So he's Ice Cube. He's like Prince writing Morris Day songs. <laughs> <laughs> Can't argue that. Okay? Like, he wrote Ice a whole... Ice Cube writing rhymes he wrote that I say yeah. hail to the, from the CIA. Yeah, so he, he not that. just wrote rhymes. He wrote a whole nother persona yes, he did. for somebody. Right. And wrote Fridays. 
Okay. <laughs> his, his pin game is unparalleled. Okay. 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 And five. What, what am I? And five. I'm gonna go with LL Cool J. Mm. Wow. And, and, and I'm just go. going. Go. And, and, and go. by the way, I'm just go. going. You know. Hey, I'm gl LL's got a great job on TV. <laughs> and his family's taken great. care of, and his kids are gonna go to the best schools in the world. But we all kind of wish he would have stopped. That's what makes the scoring average go down when you play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I think you should judge rappers like fighters. Nobody judges fighters the when career. they're old. Yeah, right. Nobody's yeah. looking at Muhammad Ali and going, hey, he lost to Trevor Burbick. Right. Nobody right. says right. that. <laughs> 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 Nobody says that. You judge him from, from, from his prime. And, prime. and in <laughs> their prime, LL Cool J was better, more entertaining, more, you know, the guy that you can listen to. You you could pump out your chest and bump him in the car, and your mom Muscular. could get in the car, and it was okay. Right. And he made love songs. And, and, and my mom loves. Yeah. Love. Give, it wow. Give it to me fast again. Your list. So it's tell me again because I you, it's I got the Jay Z, Kanye, Kanye Scarface. Scarface, Ice Cube, LSQ. LL. LL cool J. Cool. Give me a five, quick. I go from five to one. I gotta agree with Chris on LL. LL. For 30 years, he had hits. He had the, you know, every year to me, you have an MVP in hip hop, and, you know, L has had that MVP at least 10 times in his, you know, for 30 years out of his career. He should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame right now. It's a travesty, so I'm going to go LL from number five. And, and he's yeah. from Queens. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Absolutely. Queens um, run, y'all. Ex Russell Brooklyn. It's Brooklyn. I mean, and, and you know, he helped architect the biggest hip hop label ever, Def Jam Records. Um, I'm going to keep it in Queens for number four. I got to go with Nas. Um, poetic uh, battles. He has the crowns in that situation. Um, Illmatic. To me, I think is the second best hip hop album of all time. Really? Yeah. Next to what? Life After Death, Biggie. Mm. So we Biggie. Know what that is. My yeah. favorite. Yeah. 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 No, no, no. Okay. Number three, Tupac. Number three, Tupac. Um, to me, I think Pac is the most influential. I think maybe it's a toss up between him and Jay Z being the most influential MCs of all time. Tupac, the most prolific, obviously. Number two, I gotta go with Biggie. Um, I think Biggie is the most talented MC I've ever heard. Uh, you know, like Jason said, he just has no flaws in his game from the, word the look, play, the, the wordplay, yeah, right. the lyrics, hits, street credibility, uh, pop icon. Um, he's my favorite MC ever, so I got to go with Biggie number two. But I think what held him back from being number one is that his career was a little too short. So that's why I have oh, to Jackson. go with, yeah. So that's why I have to go with uh, Jay for being number one in, in, in my list. Um, besides being a billionaire, a billionaire <laughs> pop icon, influence, um, I, I, think he, I think he just shows us how to do hip hop um, mm -hmm. on all levels, from a musical level to a business level, um, how to conduct yourself. Um, you know, Jay is one of those other guys that doesn't have any flaws. Cool, info. I'm gonna go from one to five. Shaheem was talking about Jay-Z being a game changer. I think that, yes, that's true. That's Jay. <laughs> I was Michael. <laughs> exactly. Michael Jackson. I think that Jay-Z is definitely the game changer, but Nas, to me, is the life changer. Um, I think that if Rakim was the architect and then Nas is sort of his descendant, Rakim was writing in hieroglyphics and Nas deciphered it for me as a, as a hip-hop fan. So personally... I'm that going with Nas. Very poetic. Yeah. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> Number two, Biggie, all day. The one that got away, that's the one that you think about forever and ever. So just personally, as the most charismatic uh, rapper, I, I choose Biggie for number two. Number three, I'm going to go with Andre 3000 because okay. he is the only remaining special, pure event. Andre 3000 gets on anything. You know that he's going to kill it. And um, I think that he also brings a certain weirdness to hip hop, <laughs> and he made weirdness cool, so I, I love him for that. Number four. four. I have to say KRS One because as a young hip hop fan, KRS One made me a black militant. He made me, he taught me about. He made you a black yes. Black Listening to him. Well, well, yeah. I mean, this is how influential he is. He taught me about sex, Jimmy Hats. He right. taught me about drugs and, and whether girls are, you know, they look too good, but they're not ready or whatever. All of these things, <laughs> the KRS. The crack costs money. 
Kara's one taught me, so that's uh, you know, for a young Korean girl in Chicago, that's that's, <laughs> that's big. Lies, that's big. I'm sure that's what he was going for. And then number five, um, I, I if I was a betting person and I cared about stats and stacking the deck, of course I would choose Jay Z because it's just pure money in the bank. But I like flaws and I like, you know, I want to be moved emotionally and so I'm going with Kanye because with all of his flaws and his egomania and his you know, depression and all of these things, he just is the most emotionally powerful rapper. So that's what I'm going with. Wow. That's a good list. I know. Right, I gotta right. shake it up. <laughs> shake it the table. Go ahead. I'm ready? I'm ready. All right. Number one. This is tough. Number one, I'm gonna go with Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Damn, man. Big Daddy Kane. Okay. Oh, Big Daddy you really Kane. from Brooklyn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he rides out. You live on Fulton Street. Yeah. <laughs> you get fish sandwiches on Myrtle Avenue. <laughs> I had to go with Big Daddy Kane, man. Um, I think you don't have Jay, you don't have Big, who influenced everyone. So I, I just, I, I feel as though. He bought style. He could dance. Everyone forgets about that element. Everyone was dancing before. En overall. Entertainer, like, and he can still do it now. He's you know, pretty good still now. He's yeah, like he's yeah. like the oh, James yeah. Brown of that type still, of thing. Still, so, yeah. uh, just lyrical. He was definitely on five percent of type joints. Um, I mean, he did lean on me. <laughs> like he he did some crazy joints. So I I would go with him. Wow. Next is Nas. Mm. Nas. Everyone already talked about his greatness, but I I feel like people forget he's like like a scientist with lyrics. He's incredible. Um, Jay-Z. Jay, another Brooklyn dude. But just for the fact that I think if you look at what Big and him had, what they had together, um, he was he was chasing the lyrics that that dude had already come out with. And the fact that Nas was out already, he was already rapping about like, I'm trying to top these dudes, and then he did it. Mm. And then uh, fourth is Big. Just because he's Biggie. It's a lot of Brooklyn, man. It's a lot of Brooklyn. I, I, and I it's love Brooklyn. I'm from I love Coney, Brooklyn. So it's like, of course. Yeah. I love Brooklyn, right. man. <laughs> and then Ice Cube. Ice Cube. Oh, Ice Cube. Ice Cube. Ice Cube. Ice Cube. Ice Cube. Color blind. Everything is dope. Like, even the joints that's not hits are hits. You know, so he's the man. Let me go so, to the group girl, girl over here. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Bro, sorry, yo, love a group. I know you're gonna Wait. like totally veto everybody on my Nobody's list. Nobody's gonna veto. But that's why. Oh, no, no, it's cool. No, I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm not even saying that. This round. It's no, all judgment, no, judgment zone. <laughs> that's why everybody has to so much clarification with every single person that they choose. But for me, it's like. You know, I'm a 79 baby, and so for me it was like, baby. you know. Yeah. <laughs> that was a jab, like, right to, like. That was like, ugh. No, no. But, like, Rapper's Delight, like, there's, like, for me it always goes to those particular songs. It doesn't matter how much I love certain artists, but you don't have that song. It doesn't matter if you only had that one hit. To me, and when you're talking about hits, it doesn't matter if it's just that one hit. But that, the, the sweet spot that it hits in me always is always going to, you're going to have to, I don't, I would feel wrong not to count you. Because you're the reason why I love any of the other artists at all. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's like that, when I think of that song, I think about how that just completely transformed music in general and the whole like level of it. Otherwise, I would have just grown up listening to Bread and David Bowie and you know Marvin Gaye and Bill Withers and Prince and Michael Jackson and all these. That's love me some Bill Withers. That's like, that's, that's, Bill Withers is like straight up top five. That's a whole other top five conversation, <laughs> but like that's the like realm of music and Ella Fitzgerald. Everything was so much Louis Prima. Like I love wow. music, so when I get rappers. I know. So when I get into this, it's like <laughs> for me. But it always goes back to the song because I just love music and I don't I don't always have the luxury of listening to full albums. So for me, it's like I'm always gonna have that. So for me, I'm always gonna put in, and it's hard for me to do it in order. Order, so I, I'm saying Hello, it out of Rosario. order. Well, you know, if I'm saying it out of order, because all of them equal the same to me, but it's like, you know, when I look at, for me, like, Mos and Talib, like, I just, I loved who they were as people. I loved who, like, how they pushed themselves. I love that it could be really sexy and it could be really conscious at the same time. I like that, you so know, there was acting and all types of stuff. and Talib as like, rappers, or are you saying Black and Star? Black Star. Black Star. Like, Black like, Star. Like, but to separate, Black I want to say them, their names, but, like, it's like, I grew up, like, I have to say, I have to talk about the roots. Like, that to me, it was like a super conscious, but how do you talk about them without talking about public enemy? Like, it's in, it's, it's impossible for me. <laughs> this like, is why all of it. I know, but that's why I get this to be a pickle. Like, I'm the one, like, like, I'm the one who's like, even do my top roots. five. Okay, no, I so if I have to do it, if I have to do it, I'd say public enemy in there over that. I'd have to say the roots in there. I'd have to say, 
salt and pepper because you know I was a little girl and I was listening to those lyrics as a 14 year old and that was you wildly inappropriate so and it was totally yeah. okay you had the salt and like there was some yes I did yeah. I did and it was like a thing and it's like yeah. you know there were women and they were talking they were talking about sex and they were talking about AIDS and they were talking about all types of stuff like it was just that was such an amazing moment for me like for, they as, a, as a, they, they, they yeah. had yeah. hits yeah. and it didn't matter like it's worse to me they didn't cover up they did they had hips and they had hits you know and they were sexy and they were fun and they were also like super hood about it and it was like awesome to just wear sweatsuits as women and still be sexy and still be like calling that. the shots you know what i mean like so it's like sweet spot for me you got so one i don't more. know i can't i can't yeah you got one more might as well keep a group well i would say if i have to do i'll take black star out i love you guys but i'll take black star because i want to have two okay so black star's out i have to say biggie for sure oh here we go biggie easily but public enemy salt and pepper roots Public the Enemy, roots. Salt and Pepper, The Roots, One Biggie. More. Biggie. One more. To not say, who we go, yo. Try. Who we go, yo. So what's, what's, yeah. what's up, Rosario? Who we go, yo. Rosario, because I was high school. I was high school. But you know what? No, I'm going to say Jay. And the reason really? why I'm going to say Jay yeah. is yeah. I can't oh, imagine. The reason high school with Tribe Called Quest came out? I, yeah. I'm old. Sorry. <laughs> But I wanted to hear it. Was that real? Was like, I was amazing. Like, that's that's a yeah. sweet spot. That's my heart. But honestly, <laughs> I have to say Jay, because I've never, I remember going on a road trip with my friend, and we went from L.A. to Vegas and then back. And for eight hours straight, all we listened to was Jay, because she's like wow. a redonkulous Jay-Z fan. <laughs> and, like, we're going over the lyrics, like, analyzing it, like, deep. And it was amazing and you didn't feel like you were listening to just one artist you didn't feel like yeah. it never got redundant and didn't get boring it was super entertaining and that was years ago the amount of more music that you have to play with and listen to in the spaces and places that he goes it makes me feel like he loves the same music that i do in general mm. and so i think i just have to put that in cool okay cool that's hey matt let's go so been wow. been fun. Cool. they all took your wow. time up. that's cool new, new, give me a list la to vegas that's a lot of watch runs <laughs> 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 Number five, I'm going I to go. I kind of love your list, by the way. Right, yeah. it's right. Not only do I love your list, but I love the the, the way you chose your list. Because mm -hmm. I'm listening to you, like, if I chose my list by songs or artists that affected me the most in my life, my list would be completely different. Yeah. Because we have those moments where artists kind of just, like, you know, shift or whatever. So That's I, like me doing Queen Latifah really show just recently. I was getting facts wrong about my own history in life because I was so excited to sit next to you and I see you. And like, the whole time, I've known her for so long, and it's like, right. I try to be super cool around her but I was like yeah I moved into the squat when I was two I moved in when I was six I've said this story my entire life right. and I'm still saying it wrong because I'm like <laughs> it's the queen like you know like yeah, there's yeah. just that's what I love about it yeah yeah go yeah, you go. let's do it you you number five Rock Kim the guard yes mm. for no other reason than just like you said there's hip-hop before Rock Kim and then there's hip-hop after Rock Kim and a lot of people that came after Rock Kim were directly influenced after Rock Kim a lot of the great MCs that's on all of your list they're there because Rock Kim number four is Big Daddy Kane because Big Daddy Kane was an entertainer he could dance he can rhyme like nobody's business and when you were talking about who's hammer better with flow. thank you you were talking about Rock Kim and you was talking about Big Daddy Kane so Big Daddy Kane and Big Daddy Kane brought Jay out and remember Jay didn't have the same flow that y'all love so much when he was with Big Daddy Kane he was the jigger the J the jigger the A the jigger the Y when he was with that Big Daddy Kane so Big Daddy Kane's yeah, on my list what? no I did not not at all <laughs> number three is number three about. is Biggie Biggie is absolutely an MC's oh. MC's he covered all bases of what a great MC is supposed to be he had the personality he had the flow he had hits and a lot of hits. Biggie right. is absolutely yeah. number three. Number two is Jay Z. Jay Z is a great MC, but Jay Z kind of mirrored Biggie to me. Biggie came out before Jay Z, and Jay Z did a lot of what Biggie was doing. Puff made Biggie calm down off the gimme the loot, gimme the loot thug stuff and become a pimp and a player and a hustler, and the ladies love you. And then Jay Z and Dame Dash built upon what. Biggie had already laid down and they slowed Jay-Z's flow down and made it more conversational and they went into hustler mode because he was already successful so with good. Biggie. All right. So my number one of all times is Nas, in my opinion. <laughs> Nas is just the greatest MC. He's a poet. And Jay-Z and Biggie built off of what Nas did, but Nas built off of what Rakim did. Nas is absolutely like you said. If if Rakim wrote hieroglyphics, Nas put it in plain English. Nas was a street dude. 
Nas told us what was going on outside of the projects. Nas gave us an inner vision of what was going on in every hood in America across the country. Nas was the dude that had it in his pocket. Jay and Biggie was, I'm the boss and you work for me. So without Nas doing what Nas did, I don't think that Jay-Z and... And, and Biggie would have been able to do what they did. And he spanked Jay-Z ass in that battle. Oh. <laughs> spanked him. I knew we were going to get away with that. him. He him. I knew it was going to come up. Yeah, that's why Jay is not up there. You, battling is part of being a great MC. You have to right? have battles. Yeah. You got to have battles five. to be a top five. You got to have some kind of I wish we could have seen Biggie do more of that. I wish we could have seen Biggie do more that. And without a rematch, a true rematch, that that winner loser stands right yeah absolutely so Nas did that which knocked Jay down a notch for me or would have been Jay because of his impact on pop culture I mean Jay was like I don't wear jerseys I'm 30 plus put on a fresh pair of jeans cats button up Everybody and we all throw away we all threw away our, uh, yeah. oh, you know our throwback jersey. jersey so Jay's <laughs> impact is crazy he said but no Nas, more Tims everybody threw away the Tims no and he brought back the Tims <laughs> but where it goes into the heart into my heart of what I like to hear which is lyricism your plus top five. hits my yeah. top five Nas sits on the top of my top five Nice. And I gotta go. I kind of want to do my list over because I agree with her that some of the artists that I are most moved by aren't necessarily, you know, a Lauren Hill, let's yeah. say, right, mm -hmm. right. or uh, or She's Tribe, or top like, top. you know, mm -hmm. there's artists that move you. Even that Black, Star, I love that Black Star album. Mm -hmm. Public Enemy yeah. moved me. I know that album by like, heart. Tennessee, Tennessee, like there's certain like I'm, yeah. Well, that's on really, my list. you put that anybody. anytime that comes on, anybody. I feel joyous. Yeah, yeah, I, I feel agree. joyous. I feel like I scored. Like, yeah. oh, I caught that song. Like, you know, and there's not people. I wouldn't necessarily put them in my top five, but then when I look at it, like the the one that makes me the happiest. If I had to take an album that I had to listen to over and over again, that would probably be more where I would go with. Like, yeah. it's interesting Me how too. that works. Me I too. had Rebel Without a Pause on a 90-minute Max Cell. Lyrics, instrumental, lyrics, instrumental, oh, wow. lyrics. Wow. And I walked around my box drinking 40s in Queens, and that's all we played was Rebel Without a Pause. <laughs> I was Radio Raheem way before the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, it's all we played. <laughs> all day long. I feel like you might still do that. <laughs> like I don't know. 49, they changed the point. <laughs> not charcoal filter no more. I mean, the yeah, they stopped charcoal filter in old English. You know that? I'll, I'll, get, I'll get my oh, list quick. Man. I think, uh, to me, I'm a, just a rock and fanatic fan. To this day, mm. I get nervous when he walks in the room. Like, I've interviewed everybody. He comes in, I get nervous. I think he just, he's the God MC. I think everybody's been influenced by him. Um, and just personally, if he's on something, I want to hear it. I think, I, and I think he was one of the first rappers that made me feel like, Wow, you could really say something in your like t mm. to another level in your. Rock. I don't know. I just I'm a Rock Him fan. So Jay Z is my second because he's Jay Z and because he's Jay -Z. has wow hits. Chris, he's, he's, yeah, he's, he's each row. Each row. And, and I <laughs> and he's Derek Jeter and he's Derek Michael Jeter. Jordan. He's, 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 he got hits. He's, he's a <laughs> winner. And then um and then I have Big and Pac and it's hard to put in which order. Both influence. As much, I think I would put Biggie first, just because I'm from New York and I, I that I had that album from a cassette, and I feel personally connected more to Big. Right. But Pac was super influential. I know many, many words to all his albums, and and then Nas, Nas, who is you know one of the greatest lyricists of all time, and nice. should be on it. So it's a solid list, but that's a nice list. But I don't have that's Lauren nice. Hill on there, who makes me want to cry sometimes. Yeah. And I mean, you know, there's certain people, so there's so many, and then there's six men. We have six oh, men, yeah, so I'm sure you want to add six somebody. Men. And in yeah. 20, and by the way, in 2014, is your list really still that same list? Like my list in 2014, like in 2014, I want to hear a new Drake song. Oh, I want to hear right, a new J. Cole. I can't I wait for J. Cole's album. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yo, I want to hear Kendrick. 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 I love him when he spit. When he oh. started that crying shit, Drake, I can't take it. Drake's a, he rhymes. Yeah, when he spit, though, I'm saying when he spit. Hey. Yeah, he's nasty yeah. when he go just straight round. Hundred miles, or whatever that yeah, is. Yeah, real quick. Real real quick. Real quick. Real quick. Real quick. But when he starts, Kendrick. Kendrick? Kendrick? I'm not mad at Kendrick at all. Kendrick, yeah, Kendrick is incredible. <laughs> I mean, are we talking about six man? Because to me, I didn't really understand the sports metaphor of it. But I'm assuming it's somebody that the team, the opposing team, can't prepare that much for. Mine is Kanye West. It's Six like a, Kanye West. it's like a secret weapon, right? Angie, so to me, Angie, Angie. what's wrong with Kanye? Six men is the mighty, mighty KRS One. 
The man nobody did. Kanye West is sitting in the room. KRS One will come in the room, and Kanye will not say that he wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Every MC is afraid of KRS One. Nobody had more as well, many that's different what we're styles judging by. than KRS One. But if we're did. judging by hits. I'm not saying, oh, now I'm the bad guy. I'm the bad guy. Like, like, I picked, like, like I picked a rapping duke or something. You never think about when you out of here. Chris had it. KRS1 is an amazing MC, but if we're battling hits from Kanye to KRS1. I'm still taking KRS1. It makes me feel more than than anything Kanye West has ever put out. It's your secret weapon, right? Your secret weapon. Yeah, okay. KRS1. Who you got? Who you got? I'm going to say somebody who has never fulfilled the potential that she has, but will at some point, Nicki Minaj. Wow. She's skills, wow. wow. She's, skills. She's got skills. She's got skills. She's got skills. She, she got has skills. them in the stash. She, she got skills. She has them in the stash. She got skills. Yeah. And when she all. first started off, she was straight up dude. Immediately. Yeah. She was yeah, a straight yeah, up yeah, dude yeah. when she and first started off. No one knew all that pretty girl right. with underneath Fendi any of that. Yeah, she was down. all like hard. So you haven't even dude. seen what she could do. You know, and that's because people don't even know that she had that before, so they don't even understand the transformation and where she can go from next. Because she's going to have another transformation in there. Chris, you got a six man? My six man? A guy that's on no one's list, but. That's what that you love him. But. Really, especially live, nobody could fuck with him. Snoop Doggy Dog. I was gonna yeah. say, yeah. Mm. Snoop, 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 Snoop Doggy Dog. Snoop Doggy Dog. You can't say live, or... nobody could fuck with him. Yo, Don't have you that. seen Snoop Doggy Dog live? He's great. With the band, that lets the braids out. He's got the fans on both sides. The hair I saw him ride a bicycle on stage and people lost their minds. Hey, hey, yo, with the whole doggy style. Yo, he murdered. And everybody too, young and old. It's like beastly. It's crazy. Charisma, like like some Jim Morrison shit. You were probably high, by the way. Yes, yes, yes. I smoked out with him in his dressing room before he went on stage. All right, real quick. Any debates? Any vetoes? Any last six men? Anybody that we forgot? We just want to throw on the table before we wrap. You threw out Lauren earlier, which I appreciate, and I'm feeling also like Busta Rhymes a little bit. I know that's. Sounds yeah. crazy. But I just yeah. love talking about weird on stage, on stage and, and also talking about the weird in the videos. And there's just something about him because he says, I've started as I've gotten older, like going back and looking at some of the lyrics that I was repeating without blindly. And I don't do that with any music. And he was saying some stuff that was like, wow, that was kind of homophobic. And that was kind of this. And that yeah. was kind of that. Like, and that's crazy. I never well, still heard it. Still and rocking. I was actually yeah. like he waiting by the radio to like lines. record it. Because the flow the is so flow special is and different yeah. and unique. Well, and, and like, it's just kind of like, if I'm not going to go with Lauren, who I love, because Lauren feels almost in that same, like, in the girl sense, like Biggie. Like, you're like, she just gave us so little, but she's still here, and it's shot. I don't understand it. Like, I'm confused. I thought you were going to maybe say her when she, when she dropped. That's what I thought. I was like, I thought I was like, I thought she went over with it. Yeah, I thought that's where you're going. Lauren's amazing, but Lauren's done. Oh, just don't. You hurt my heart. This is how you end this. You're gonna end this. I love her. I'm young. Is that not Chris? Love. Chris did. Huh? He's a pessimist. I got the hope. Oh, it's like you waiting for another Tyson fight. Certain things ain't happening that are gonna happen again. I'd love to see Tyson knock somebody out. Me too. Oh, Lawrence. Like Lawrence. We saw her great. We saw her. one record was the best I ever. By the way, there's a few people that's coming on this that we're never gonna hear from again as well. So don't act like she. Yeah, yeah. She's not the only one we're not gonna hear from again. Right. Well, we keep, Lauren's one of those. We keep going. That's low. crazy. <laughs> 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 right. Anything she's on, we like. Uh, okay. This is gonna be it. Every performance, we wait three hours for her to show up. Yeah. All right. Yeah. The movie's amazing too, by the way. Thank you guys seen it? My top five is Jay, Nas, Scarface, Rakim, and then I might let Biggie get in there. My sixth man is LL Cool J. Before the show! Before the show! You're watching Black Tree on TV, only on Soul of the South.